everybody, this is Tayana and welcome to my book club. And today's book is The Prisoners of Paradise by Abdul Fasilina. Abdul Fasilina is a Finnish author of about 30 novels, I believe, only two of which are available in English. Why? What is it with the English-speaking world and translating foreign novels? It's a tragedy. Anyway, The Prisoners of Paradise. A plane crashes near a tropical island in Southeast Asia. On board are a selection of midwives, nurses, woodsmen and engineers, all destined for a UN mission in Southeast Asia in order to set up work in logging programs and also contraception programs. Passengers and crew all find themselves marooned on a desert island with a tropical jungle and very soon certain problems start emerging as how to locate food and water but as these problems get uh, quickly resolved they start setting up a more comfortable life for themselves. They build houses, open a family planning centre, make a distillery and a cafe in order to sell coffee and alcohol and a sauna because, you know, Finnish people, they can't live without saunas. And all this time they hope for a rescue, though it very soon becomes apparent that no planes or ships come near this island. So they decide to carve out a massive SOS sign in the jungle that can be seen from satellites. This project takes a lot of work and many months to achieve. And in this time, some start wondering whether or not they actually want to leave this tropical paradise they have ended up becoming accustomed to. Going back to Europe and their lives means going back to paying taxes, living in miserable weather with people who don't appreciate them, and many decide that they want to stay in this world they've created for themselves where they can be in touch with nature and truly free. Here we have a group of people marooned and completely cut off from civilization in what at first seems like a very hostile environment, but they very soon adapt and make it their home and create families. They find that they're in fact a lot happier living with the bare necessities, as it were, in this tropical jungle on a beach on a desert island. Auto Pasolina definitely, definitely should be translated into English. I, I have a job understanding why these authors don't get translated, like Siri Kolu I made a video about, and also uh, many other international authors that just seem, they don't seem to make it across the channel or, or to the UK or to the US. And, uh, you know, if they can get to France, they can get to the UK. So some publisher, get, get, get them translated so the, the whole English speaking world can read these books because this, this author is, he is absolutely brilliant. His books are very, very good. And, uh, and I really, really like him, and I'm, I definitely do recommend that someone sits down and, and translates this stuff, because it really, really is worth it. So that was The uh, Prisoners of Paradise by Arto Persilina, who is a Finnish author, and who is translated into a lot of languages, so there's really no excuse, okay? Someone do it. So once again, it only remains for me to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and do subscribe to my channel. I make a video, I make more videos, three videos this week. I've been very productive recently. So yeah, do join me and my book club and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. Seriously, dude. Oh, it's shower time, isn't it? You are so cute. 
Who is cute? I am cute. Look at me. Who is the star? <laughs>